Shora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here. Welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Bran's Tale. We're back with our mechanical man, Bran, and we are just to the northwest of Peabody currently, on the edge of seemingly a ginormous swamp. I don't know if it is, though. I'm going to want to explore this to get to the bottom of it. I love that the um, hazardous waste sarcophagi is all the way out here, just like out in the swamp. And same thing with this motel, just this kind of strange motel just looking over all of the swampland. I want to know if it truly is entirely swampland. It looks to be from the map that we have, but well, they aren't always accurate. Sometimes there are things that are missed. And so that's what we're going to be exploring today with Bran. So let's go drink some of that sweet, sweet liquid. Get ourselves feeling good. Um, there should actually be some extra clean water in the, the vehicle across the way from us. So let's go deal with that first of all. As we just quickly wake up and slash a zombie to pieces. A normal everyday occurrence in the world of Bran. Just making very quick work of each of those. Having ourselves a little bit of a breather. And there is actually a chance that the vehicle has recharged something with those solar panels that it has sat on top of it. So we'll see if we can do anything about that. Okay, jump inside. And let's have a drink first of all. Okay, we're slaked. Now let's go ahead and fill a container. That there. Fantastic. And there is even some left over. Let's see what the energy levels are like. Uh, there's not that much. It's going to take five days until that is filled back up. It takes quite a bit for it to actually get full. Uh, now it could take that bashing through the swamp, but that probably isn't the smartest idea. So we're not going to do that. Um, we are getting a little warm though, so we are going to turn on uh, climate control. Yeah. Going to need to be a little mindful of our power. But we're going to start heading out. Away from this place. Into the swamp beyond. Now it's not just like full water. But it is full swamp. We'll take down this zombie cop to start with before we start to run through at speed. Let this one come towards us. And it's very, very quick work with you. Very quick work indeed. Okay, have that breather. Now where was this cop? To the west apparently. Well, let's start heading out towards the west. So generally we're wanting to avoid deep water. That's the only thing that will really stop us out here. And the only other thing I was wondering was whether or not we have a set of binoculars with us. And I don't think we do, which is a little unfortunate because the binoculars make it a lot easier for us to see what's going on with the wider world. Um, right, okay. You're damaged. We'll make sure that you actually stay properly damaged there, miss. We're attacked! We are going to stop. Yes. Finish it off. Tough zombie be damned. Alright, and we'll see if we can uh, deal with you as well. There's no corpse to butcher. Okay, yeah, there definitely is. It's damaged, so let's just go smash it instead. There we go. Just take a breather. So, with us heading out here, um, let's head towards any sections where we can see a little bit of green, a little bit of forest, and we can see that that is declared as being southwest from Hamden. So, Hamden is somewhere that we can see. And like I was saying, we're just going to be roaming like this. Rocky rubble. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, it looks like there is just a patch there. Um, I, the way that I can kind of see this going for us, I imagine it might be worthwhile us going all the way here to, like, right across the other way. Yeah, it's possible. So let's start making our way a little bit northeast. Watching out for this rocky rubble where we can. Okay, we've got a boomer. Let's not dive into the water either. 
No, thank you. Sometimes we can get really lucky, other times not so much. We were getting attacked by something then. Or rather, something was attacking something else. Got a lot of mosquitoes around here. Oh, you know what? <laughs> we forgot all the meat. Um, there's not so much a major problem. I was just going to use that to um, power with our metabolic interchange. It's still back there. We can always go back and get it. Our electric bicycle that we've been using is back there as well. But I'm not so concerned with that. Same thing with these mozzies. We might be able to get lucky and strike them, but they're going to fly towards us into our face and annoy us from time to time. If we really want to kill them, we could turn on our offensive and defensive system. But for now, we're just going to continue to wander through these woods. Very, very dense woods. And we have the remains of a fire. Yeah. Interesting. Just kind of, um... Just a small portion. Yeah, we've got some rain. Some nice summer rain, though. Must be at least a little bit welcoming. Just avoid that water. So that we can keep moving. And we've spotted a giant mosquito. Shock horror. And there's the spiders, so we'll give them the space that they deserve. There's quite a few of them around here. If they come for us, they shall die. And we could stick around and get some meat from them, but we've got an okay amount for now. Seven's not massive, but, um, yeah. I think we're going to try and stick by taking what we need when we need it. Just so I'm not hauling too many things with us. And occasionally, we can stop by trees like this, for example, and just pick the peach tree. And then just go eat some nice, fresh peaches. Which surprisingly makes us go to Peckish, so we'll just uh, go ahead and eat from this tree as well if we can. There we go. Peckish should go away. Ah, uh, come on water, help me out. Alright, so, I feel like we've gone a ways. Let's see how far we've made it. We've made it pretty much halfway through, and sure enough, this is just giant swampland. Completely... Yeah. Just a big old mess. Which is kind of surprising with our city generation, the way that we have it set up. Uh, the cities should have no spaces between them, yet we still have these um, large sections that are just kind of squidged, you know, between parts of the towns. Tis interesting. Oh, okay. We've got an actual forest part here. Oh, what is... Ah, interesting. So we've got like this cube of forest here, and we have craters to the north of us. Alright. Coyote, are you going to cause us trouble? Don't come towards me. I advise you against it. And we have just this large piles of rubble. As far as we can see, these craters. Craters from what, though? Were they from missiles? Were they from asteroids? We don't know, not for sure. And being this close to it, we might be able to detect radiation. We should be able to, to just detect it, though. And we're not, we're not getting anything that's kind of clicking, because one of our passives that we have uh, should uh, make us aware of when there is radiation around us. I'm relatively sure. I could be wrong. Hmm. Yeah, no, I could, I could actually be wrong. Uh, it could be another one that we have within here. We just have so many. The integrated dosimeter will tell us how irradiated we are. Our radiation level is zero currently. Okay. 
Well, that's okay. This coyote is kind of trying to follow us, so we'll scare him off. Give him a bit of a swing of the blade. And eventually, we will get lucky with one of these strikes. You're going to keep coming back towards me, aren't you? He's got hit and run tactics. Alright, fine. <laughs> Just blast it. Now leave us alone. We'll just kind of continue up towards the rest of this crater. I mean, it stretches on for quite a ways, but um, we can't see anything. You know, that that's the, kind of the source of it. It's just this wide, destructive area. Uh, we're not going to open. Rather, we're going to shoot that one there. You can see the coyotes aren't very well built. They go down pretty easily. So heading west from here, we can get straight back to where we're wanting to go. That dish shouldn't better leave us alone. I do not want to be attacking a papa. A lot of fish in here as well. Not a bad little area. I have to admit, I really miss Leif sometimes, and just like that playstyle, the wilderness playstyle, the having nothing and having to build everything from scratch. Um, like, I, I think it would be even more interesting if we did that with absolutely nothing. Um, we got lucky. We managed to find, you know, the remains of people and, <clears throat> uh, you know, the, the helicopter crash and stuff like that. Like, they, they were super useful. I'd be intrigued to see if we could do that with, like, nothing. Nothing from the outside if it was a full wilderness playthrough. Would be interesting. At the same time though, that makes me think I should just learn how to play Unreal World and just play Unreal World instead. I really want to. Um, it is, it's just a, it's a complex game. Um, it's something that I've wanted to play for a long, long time, but I just haven't really got around to it yet. And there aren't that many um, playlists of it, at least the current versions on YouTube at the moment. Actually, if you know of any that you've watched recently, please let me know, because I would love to watch them. I used to watch Jeff back in the day, and really enjoy... Ha... Huh, enjoy those streams. Okay, what do we have here? We have ourselves a strange temple. See, this is why we go wandering in swamps, for this exact reason. So, we see a clearing, a strange clearing, a bizarre clearing, where no grass grows. We see a metal grate of some kind ahead of us, and a pedestal at the center of this. The birds chirp around us, the summer rain patters off of Brand's helmet as we walk towards it. We inspect the pedestal. This is a pedestal engraved in eye-shaped diagrams and has a large semi-spherical indentation at the top. A place for something to sit within. Something eye-shaped. Hmm. Intriguing. And quite the mystery. <laughs> now that is something that we might be able to get inside of. However, that's not easy to get inside of. For that, we need a petrified eye, I'm relatively sure. But Bran, being an intelligent man, might be able to deduce that something that is shaped like an eye might be able to open this thing. But this is strange. This is old, but new. A place that doesn't fit within this world. Kind of like him. This is a mystery, that is for sure. A mystery that I did not anticipate to find out here, but one that I am excited to see. Petrified Eye. That would do it, I think. Now, there is a chance that we might be able to get in still in another way, but those are all a little bit more destructive. And so we are definitely going to remember this as we march on towards this unknown town. It is just north of Portsmouth. Where is Portsmouth, by the way? Oh, it's all the way down here. 
Yeah, it most certainly is north of Portsmouth. Okay, we'll continue on towards the west. But let's not forget that, Bran. Perhaps we can find some means to enter that place. Just keep on your path. Keep doing you. I'm actually kind of grateful that we haven't encountered anything too wild out here in the woods. They have been kind to us. Ah, and there we go. With that, we reach the edge of the swamps. And we can see, as soon as we've got outside, we can just see so much more now. We see all of this field, just this empty, empty field that stretches on and on. But eventually, we see places in the distance, a scrapyard, a park, and a house. We have a bank marked on our map, and banks are always good to us. Perhaps this section of Mega City 1 isn't as infested, or so Bran would hope, but stumbling towards it, we see the same stumbling figures that we've seen elsewhere in the world. <sighs> Time to get ready, my friend. The march begins. Dismember. And actually grab that MP3 player, thank you. We'll take that Xanax as well. Now, you didn't actually manage to butcher the corpse there, but I think you did in a sense. No corpse to butcher. Yeah. That's an interesting error we've been getting. 94 damage. Okay, we'll take that. What about you? Dismember? Now that one we managed to hack. You, we didn't. Let's take a breather again. Let them come to us. What about you? Yep. We can manage you just fine. Okay. Let them come towards. Come on then. There we go. Okay. Now, I think it's probably worth us having a little bit of a munch while we're here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and turn on our internal furnace. Our climate control is keeping us feeling pretty good about life. And let's go start eating. We're going to eat all these things down here. We want to make sure that we are eating only those things and not our things. Because you see kind of what happened there. Um, oh, you didn't get butchered. Uh, same issue with you. Oh, we can see a shocker. It's been a while since we have dissected a shocker. Um, nothing on this one here. Okay, we will start working our way through. Yeah, because like, it goes straight up to the survivor harness. If we accidentally ate that, I would just be inconsolable. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we're not going to get much else from that lot there, just the wool poncho and all the rest we will consume. Just to top ourselves up a little bit. Yeah, we really don't get much from them at all. Okay. Let's head over towards the vehicles, see if they have any charge. Zero. <clears throat> um, okay, that's better. So we're going to go ahead and attach ourselves to this vehicle real quick. That's a rubber hose, no. Attach the vehicle, and we will attach to self. Attach cable to self. There we go. Charging on up. And it shouldn't actually take us too long because there isn't all that much charge in here. We'll eventually see it just stop. It's a good way for us to keep topped off. Just approach these vehicles. Have a little bit of a feed. Siphon energy off them. Yeah, that was more than I was anticipating. We'll go ahead and detach. And march on. Probably worth us um, topping up our... Yeah, let's go ahead and top off our sword. There is some gasoline in here, so we're going to go ahead and siphon gasoline. All this clean water as well. Uh, pour into a container. There. There's some left over. That's fine. Uh, can we actually just grab a drink from here? We probably can. Yes. 
detergent. Okay. I'll take that. So, we could stop into some of these stores here. There's nothing really that we'd want. The sports store is a maybe, but the bank is really what we're after. So, looks like we've got quite a lot of interest up here. So, let's get ourselves set for this group. We're going to drop that rucksack to the ground. We're going to go turn our combat armor on. And we're going to go ahead and flame on. Let's just stand slightly away from our bag. We'll let this group come towards us as these decayed shambling forms approach us. We ready ourselves. Standing in place. We slash away. Making quick work of the lot. There we go. We've got one more. Come and join the party. Alright. Apparently that was a snot gobbler there. How lovely. Okay, alright. Let's go ahead and turn some of these things off. We're gonna go grab our backpack back. Backpack back. Um, okay, we have a small error there. Go ahead and wear you. And grab that canteen. So, let's grab all of them, and yeah, for some reason there are some items that seem to get moved in, in strange ways. What I'm wanting to do here is just collect all of the bodies and place them in one place. Um, so it shouldn't take us too long to move everything over here. Yeah, these bodies, for whatever reason, don't want to move, and I think those are the ones that are going to have an issue. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. There we go, so we've got them all in one place. We're hungry, as this is, well, energetic work. We'll have that. Now, if we go to butcher, I want to butcher all, but I really only want the bodies. So let's see if we can just quickly... Easiest way to do this will probably be... Hmm. Okay, they're all here under other. So we're just gonna go shift them real quick to the other side. Including the SD card. <laughs> now they're all in one space. We're going to go butcher everything and dismember. So it's going to take five minutes, but we should have dismembered all of those corpses. So looking beneath us, there is only one left there. We'll smash what remains. Excellent. Okay. Catch our breath back. As we've lost a whole heap of it. And we're good to go. We've got one curious zombie. There we go. Got you in the end. Lots of noisy ones inside of here. Alright, no corpses to butcher there, apparently. Ooh, hello. Yeah, the dog's gonna be troublesome. Not today, apparently. Get that breath, and get to work. Now, this being a solar vehicle makes me believe that we might have some charge in here, and sure enough, we do. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to have a little bit of a feed. We're going to attach that to the vehicle. Oops. We messed that up. Attach to the vehicle, and we'll go and attach it to ourself. Excellent. So, I don't know how much we're going to get out of this. If it's too long, we'll probably just jump ahead. You know what? We'll do that. Okay, we are done. We actually killed a zombie during that process as well, but we've got a lot of energy after that. I'm I'm very, very happy. <clears throat> this was a great addition, having that along for the ride. We're up to 8,500, so we're approaching our 10k power, which that's damn good. Um, yeah, it's going to take a week until it fills back up, but those swappable storage batteries were containing a lot of power. Very, very happy about that. We can actually see some more up here. Uh, we have a jewelry store, which might be worth us um, taking a look at, because, well, they can have some pretty nice stuff in there. Stuff that's quite useful for us. Um, probably not so much at this stage, but later on. And it looks like we've got some more trouble up this way. We have that shocker zombie that we need to concern ourselves with. So we'll start moving towards this group. 
give them a proper chance to uh, fight. Apologies for all of the loud bashing noises as they start to destroy this vehicle. Um, hmm. I mean, they're, they're all together, right? I I feel like it will destroy the. It'll destroy the CBM though potentially, but I just can't pass this up. I feel like they're just asking for it. We're gonna store that in our inventory. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our unified power system, uh, wherever that is amongst all of these. Let's see. Ah, uh, there we go. Internal unified power system. We're going to go ahead and take aim. Right smack bang about there. We're going to wait until that gets to 100 steadiness. And then get ready to take the shot. Okay, the shot goes off with a huge explosion. And actually not that much effect. I'm actually a little surprised by that. All the same, let's go ahead and attach that back to our survivor harness. Try and see if we can wield this Y-hander. Go ahead and activate our armor real quick. We'll keep our backpack on for now. I think we should be okay. Uh, yep. They are all starting to burn up there. Now, we don't want to go too close to that vehicle because um, that could be big bada boom for us. And um, shrapnel... Shrapnel's a thing. Yep, we can see that fire is doing its damage. It's doing what it does. And we did make a loud noise, so everyone else is going to be going over there at this stage. So we might be able to slip into this bank without being noticed by too many, but there are a few <laughs> hanging out here in the road, so we're going to have to deal with them first. <laughs> Holy balls. Okay, so the bank had security, and we were just shot directly in the head. A Northrop watchman inside the bank sees us roaming past, lets a volley of bullets just fly. And one of them hits us directly in the head, reeled by the shot, and with his head ringing, Bran quickly activates his nanobots that start to flit around his head as we begin to run backwards to get out of sight of this thing. Oh, okay, okay, we need to get distance. We keep moving back further and further as the dead start to approach, hoping that its attention will be taken over there. We're gonna crouch for a moment or two and just wait as we can hear shot after shot ring out. The dead slowly getting taken down by this thing. We have something to worry about now. More of them start to approach. And we can even see an eyebot all the way down there, just flittering about. Okay. Let's just stay here for now. We can go ahead and act deactivate the nanobots. We are back to being fully healed, which is great. Okay. Now, where did that thing get to? Oh, it's hanging out in the solar vehicle right now. Okay. Well, let's just keep sneaking around here for now. We'll try and walk around. This is the trailer of some kind of larger vehicle. <clears throat> oh, it's shooting up a storm. Yeah, we can see how much it can shoot in that one turn. Let's see if we can run into the bank while it's busy. Yeah, we're going to go for one of the northern edges. Okay, alright, so we have a friend. Let's go ahead and pop that friend real quick. And I think we should be okay to move through this. Uh, it seems that we are. Okay, good. It was just uh, on perfect. You setting off an alarm was exactly what we needed. Especially with potential bots awaiting us inside. We're going to go see if we can clean off this window. Yeah, I don't feel good here. Mechanical whirring. Stop con Yes, stop construction. Ah, uh, mechanical whirring. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Is the mechanical whirring coming from here? Oh, oh, yep, it most certainly is. So, what can we do if and when we see slash hear that whirring? Well, we can use our electromagnetic unit. Let's have a look at that real quick. I still don't know the range on this. No, that's not it. That's not it. 
<laughs> Let's have a look again. Um, it's essentially our EMP. Um, okay. We can turn off the unified power system for now. Directional EMP. A short range blast. Now how 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 short range is short range? I can't remember. Directional EMP is just X. So we'll try and fire it through the walls here. We'll see if we get any We're still hearing noise. Okay, I'm just gonna poke my head up here. Okay, we're not seeing anything. Poke it up again. Okay. Poke further. Okay. Poke further. <clears throat> okay, we're just trying to look around at the stage to see if we can catch sight of any of these uh, <laughs> bad boys. More than a little concerned right now. Okay, we're not seeing anything. Is that coverage? I'm pretty sure it was coverage, right? Coverage is 0%. So coverage is a thing now. Okay. What if I was to start crouching? Do we see coverage change at all? No. Interesting. Okay, peeking around the corner, we don't see anything. So, <laughs> this is where we're hearing noises from inside where the frickin' bank vault is. The door's locked. Okay. So, we know, we know at the very least that if something is right to there, we can very quickly activate and try and use our EMP against it. So, let's go ahead and use... One of our improvised lockpicks. We hear a satisfying click. Okay. We don't see anything yet. Okay. <laughs> I don't like this. But you know what I do like? I like that it's dark in here. Because that means that... Uh, we can maybe see better than other things that might be in here. Okay. I like that there are side rooms as well. It gives us a chance to use cover. I'm just going to keep peeking ahead like this. Okay, so we can see a whole heap now. That's good. Peek inside this room. We're hearing more noises outside. And I think that's probably that that whirring we were hearing before is now over here. Yep, we can hear some mechanical whirring. Alright. Oh, come on. Is that... You know what we're going to do? We're actually going to turn on our enhanced hearing. So we have a better chance to hear exactly where this thing is. So we can- we know that a lot- a lot are coming from the north right now. And I think... Any second now... This thing down here is going to respond to the alarm. Maybe not. Oh no, it definitely is. Okay. Yeah, it's staying down there. What I want is for it to come around the corner. And that's not going to happen. So let's just peek. Oh, these these alarms are doing my head in. Okay, can I see? Yes, I can. It's all the way down there. Okay, it is uninjured. Of course, of course it's uninjured. Of course it is. Um, now we could try and take a shot at it with our pistol. Um... I'm just peeking out again and again here to, to see if we can kind of catch what it's doing. Um, can we get to that room? We can through one of the outer doors. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to peace out of here for now. We're going to deal with the group that's coming here and causing us all kinds of trouble. There we go. See, look, we're helping you out, bank folk. Yeah, so we can come through that side there. That's going to get us closer to it. All right, we're hearing terrible shrieks. That's that's uh, that's good. It's always what you want to be hearing. So let's see. Can we just deconstruct this window? We can't. We have to smash it. <laughs> Set off an alarm. Clean it. Heard click. Uh, stop constructing. Yes. Where did I hear click from? Screw it. Just go through the glass. Okay, so we can't see the other one right now. Oh, there's a whole heap of fun down there, though. Um, I think the... Oh, we're hearing click because he's out of ammunition. He's spent all of his ammunition. Yeah, that'll be it. 
Okay, so we still have this bad boy. Oh, and, and here's the other bad thing. Shoot, I should have figured that into this. Uh, yeah, we are going to be totally visible if we open up that door there because of all the sunlight that's in here. So that's not an option for us. What is an option is going back in. I know I'm being overly cautious here, but if we get shot in the head, that can be very, very bad. So my question is, if we move over here now, can we see it? No, we can't, which is good. It's going to have similar kind of sight to what we have at the moment. So if we go ahead and turn on our night vision, that's going to give us an advantage that it doesn't have. We assume. So let's go back down here. We're going to go ahead and... We're going to take out the backup. Which is our pistol. Now, i got to think that the pistol is going to be the best thing that we can use in this instance. It's all the way down there at this stage. We're going to go ahead and start lining up a shot. I'm going to have a look at the percentages. Heard a crash. Ignore. Uh, stop aiming. No. How many crashes are there? We're hearing thumps. We're hearing crash. Okay. That's, that's fine. Ignore. Okay. Now we have a 54% chance to hit. Let's see how we do here. Okay. We managed to hit the thing for 18 damage. So we should be able to get this thing back relatively quickly because of all the different like aim stabilization things in our arms and the rest we hear click stop aiming uh no 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 i just don't want to ignore something else like we see it approaching or something to that degree okay we hit it for 28 that's pretty good it's definitely coming towards us now at this stage it's heavily injured though so if we can just get over that recoil i'm happy with that percentage uh but i, I think we missed and it still hasn't really figured out where we are yet so i'm okay with that no come on we've still got a few more shots before we need to reload okay um I, I i assume that was a hit there was just lots of other things going on there uh reflects off the armor well that's a shame isn't it we spotted the security bot but it still is unaware of us so we could just try and see if we could get away for blast here heard crash ignore now, that's slightly dangerous, because we've made ourselves visible to it, uh, even if it is for just a moment. So we need to go ahead and back up. Um, peak, it's gone back down. That's great. That's great news. Uh, let's just do a blast. Ignore the aim. It won't take us that long. Okay, there's another hit. We need to get back. Peak, see if it's going to stay down there. It is. You know what? That's perfectly fine, buddy. You you just stay down there. You do you. Come on. You've got to be nearly dead. The, more, the important thing is that we just keep on peeking to make sure that we're actually good. We need to reload. Uh, yeah, stop reloading. I should have I should have been more careful there. It's nearly dead. This has got to be it. There we go. The loud bang. This thing is dead. So I don't think the zombies can actually kill it outside. They're trying to, but they're failing because uh, of all of its armor. We just have an antenna left. Oh, and uh, another one of the ladders. You see, the ladders kind of freak me out because is that going up? Is it going down? Could be going down, actually, and that's kind of terrifying. Hmm. Um, let's go wield the Zweihander. Actually, we should reload our gun to start with ignore was that reloading okay that's reloading the backup that's good so we'll just keep on ignoring as we reload five times i think it is there we go um right so just in case this is like a game breaking thing we're going to put in a quick save here at this moment um now is this going to take us up or down we can't go down uh we be be unable to return back down these stairs uh, i just don't feel comfortable doing that you know it's something that we might do i think we're gonna have to investigate that as a feature eventually but uh right now we don't need to so we won't what we do need to do is hack this computer um so we should be okay to do that at this stage we're gonna go ahead and bypass security we're going to open the vault our computer skills is you know fairly decent so we've got some dollar bills here We'll get the money bundle and we're going to attempt to crack these safes um 
we're gonna ignore further distractions. I'm actually gonna turn off the enhanced hearing, I think. But we'll see what is inside these uh, vaults. Now I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open them one by one. So I'm gonna unlock them all, and then we're gonna open them in in like one one go. So it'll be a big surprise to us. Um, okay, so going back into here, we want to turn off for enhanced hearing. Okay, so we're gonna crack the next one. It's got. It takes a while to crack these safes. Then it's not easy. Okay, and then the last one, and then we're gonna get opening. Okay, ignore further distractions. Hmm, that's great. Okay, so open. First one. What do we have inside? There is an advanced UPS inside, and it can hold quite a lot of plutonium. Brilliant. Okay, what about uh, what about the next? We have. Oh, what are you? A quantum solar backpack and a basic power armor helmet. <laughs> Um, it's hard to turn down the power armor helmet, but like the quantum solar backpack. Yeah, we can make use of that, can't we? I was just saying, oh, I kind of wish that we brought that along. There we go. Uh, now we do have one more. And it is a super alloy plating and a money bu money bundle. The super alloy plating, we need to um, make the titanium plating for ourselves. So that's really, really good that we've been able to find that. Now my next question is, can we drop anything off here at this stage? Uh, I mean the power basic power armor helmet we can probably get away with dropping purely just because we've already got some and Disassembling this may yield what a Salvaged power armor helmet, okay Some LCD screens and the rest. Yeah, nothing too crazy. I Wonder if we could just put that on Because we don't we don't have a Helmet on at this stage. We just have the combat armor. I'm pretty sure it won't let us put it on um, Yes, we cannot wear it over other gear. That's fine uh, You know what we are gonna leave that um, Yeah, I know that sounds a little crazy just leaving that on the floor um, I'm gonna put a note here though. I'm just gonna say power Armor helmet just in case we ever need it um, okay, but looking at the rest of the town, is there anything else here that we really want? This is a dispensary. Interesting. Um, I don't think there is. Yeah, I'm not so sure. And looking around the rest, I'm trying to find where the best points to check are going to be. I think up here, closer towards where Bennington is. The outskirts of town is usually where we're going to find the interesting things. Um, we do have the folded Foldertron with us though, so once we start to get more items, uh, we can just use that to hold a whole heap of them. So that is indeed an option for us. Um, we don't need to go south to those, do we? No. So we're going to leave that bot alone, doing its thing. Um, right, do we want to destroy these bodies here? Well, no. I think we're going to be okay without doing that. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, purely because we're not trying to save the world here. We're trying to save ourselves. And we're unlikely to come back to this very same spot. So letting the population live. That's eh, okay, right? Yeah. Surely. We're going to go attach that to the vehicle and then attach it to ourselves. And just absorb. There was not much in there at all. That's fine. We'll take what we can get. Okay, so we got ourselves a junkyard over here. And a fitness gym. Oh, the jewelry store. Yeah, that is tempting. Okay. Oh, and look at that. We've got some more friends down here. A shocker zombie. Well, this one I would like to try and keep alive if possible. So let's turn on the combat armor. It is more than likely going to um, screw us here. It's going to... Well blast us from a distance but that's all right it actually kind of missed I love the sparking effect and thankfully we're insulated against it so with flame the sword in hand we'll destroy that lot in no time at all uh, start fire quickly no let's not <laughs> let's just turn it off and we're going to put the combat armor off as well um, so we've got one more zombie hobbling up towards us missing an eye okay does anyone have anything interesting Prussian blue tablets mm-hmm mm-hmm okay um, 
I think that's all. Yep, that is all. And then our fun stuff up the top. So let's go ahead and uh, the shocker zombie. Shock horror. Um, we are going to see if we can dissect you. It's going to take 42 minutes. Um, a zombie child has been spotted. Stop dissecting. No. All right, fine. Fine. Oh, we've got quite a few friends over here. All right. Is it an iBot? See, the iBot's potentially dangerous because if it, well, decides that we're an enemy, it can call upon other bots to turn up. And that's really one of our major weaknesses at this stage. You're always weak to bullets. Um, well, until you're in power armor. You can't decide where you want to go. Yeah, come towards me, buddy. What about the rest of you? Do you want to come down this way? I really like it if you made up your mind now. Before I start working. There we go. Okay. Now hopefully they'll leave us alone for a little bit while we do our dastardly work. We're going to go back to the shocker and we're going to continue to dissect it. Let's see how we do. There is no corpse to butcher. Don't do this to me! Ah, uh, keeps on breaking for some reason. Um, I don't know why, but butchery seems to be having some interesting things. I think it's once it goes to damaged, it decides that, oh, you can't, you can't dissect this anymore, you can't butcher this anymore. So we'll see if we can just split it, move it away from everything else, and then just try again. Dissect. And... Yay! There we go. But we didn't really get much from that at all. We got a power storage CPM. Whoop whoop. Hell yeah. Okay, I think we've still got enough burnouts to make stuff, so we're not going to take any from there. But we are going to take everything from here. We're going to not wear the long rope. Alright, fine. We'll grab the backpack first. That's how you want to be. Uh, let's grab the rest, and seeing as it's sunny, we could try and go full-on crazy and wear the solar backpack as well, and go ahead and um, unfold it. And then if we go ahead and attach the cable, uh, cable, 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 jumper cable, attached to self, and then attached to the solar backpack. Boom, and just like that. We're not absorbing any. <laughs> it's not working. Um, now, I wonder if that's because it needs to be on an outer layer. Let's go put it on there. Okay. How about now? Uh, nope, we are still not getting power. Now, it might be offsetting the power that we have currently. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, th I feel like we've done everything correctly. Maybe we just need to move a step or two. We'll see. We'll leave it out for now. I feel like it's probably very, very delicate and will break super easy, but um, we're in 7254 at this stage. Yeah, we're going down. Okay. Alright. We must look pretty encumbered at this stage. Uh, it's unfolded. Yep, okay. Let's have a read of this thing, see if it gives us any information. Uh, unfolded array of portable quantum solar panels ready to push some power into a active cable charger system, which we have, and it is operational. Uh, yes, it most certainly is. Cable charger system. It's active. We are connected. All of these are working as they should be, I believe. I mean, m maybe it's working. Who's to say that it isn't? Anyway, we got two jewelry stores to rob. So let's get robbing. Um, is this the jewelry store here that looks like a subway station? It's because it is. It's because it is. Oh, it's blue. Interesting. Let's go ahead and clamber over this thing. Very encumbered. And lockpicks. Okay, I won't be surprised if there's an alarm. Okay. So far so good. We're in the back of the jewelers. What do we have here? A survivor's note. What does it say? Husband. 30 years. Died in bombs. Mushrooms brought him back. Give yourself to them and they will help you. Okay. Okay. What What do we have there on the counter? It looks like a, a saw of some kind. An electric polisher. Well, of course, to polish jewels. Oh, we've got some more safes. 
fantastic. We can crack these. Um, so we'll go ahead, like before, we'll crack both of them. And then see what awaits us inside. Um, while we're inside, we probably don't need to be wearing the solar backpack. So we'll go ahead and uh, fold you back up again. And we will take you off for now. And we'll go ahead and respool that stuff there. So we're going to go ahead and open. There's nothing in there. And open. And there's nothing in there. Well, that was cool. Alright. Not much in the back here. Alright, what do we have in the front? We've got literally one piece of jewelry. <laughs> uh, we've got a gold dental grill and a silver necklace. Uh, probably not worth us, you know, waking up all the dead for, so we're not going to do that. We'll go ahead and check the other one. Let's make our way over there. We've spotted a zombie to the west. Or rather, I have spotted you, zombie. And we'll do the same thing here. Just jump over the fence and see what we got. I should actually have a look in the um, junkyard as well. See if we have any obscure items that we might be able to find. As that is what I am seeking currently. What are you on the floor? That is a floor. Yes, but there's something on the floor. That is my question. What do we have here? We have a dental grill of some kind. A gold dental grill. Fantastic. We will take it as we are going to take that apart for its components. We'll crack the safe. We are cracking. And the reason we can do this is because of our enhanced hearing. We don't even need to have it on, it's just that we have it so we could theoretically turn it on. So that's why we don't need to carry stethoscopes around with us. Very good, yes, very good. Oh, we do have some silver inside here though. I'm down with that. Clamber along the tables. And what do we have inside here? We have... Okay, we have a few more things. Oh no, but they're mostly nothing. Gold earring, okay. Jade brooch, we have two. Okay, very nice. Um, another shocker. I'll be damned. Uh, I'm not going to mark these places explored, because there is probably a little bit more that we can see. Um, climb the fence, yes. Thank you. Um, right, let's not step into the wreckage. The cop can come for us if he wants. Yeah, there's nothing too amazing here in the scrapyard, really. So I think, like I said before, we're going to try and head on over towards those places. What we would, what I'd like to find is a museum. Uh, but finding a museum is a little bit easier said than done. So we'll see what awaits us in the other town as we wander on towards it. Looks like that's a exercise place. An exercise place called a gym, Rikon. That's what it's called. An exercise place. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes I surprise myself that English is my first language. And let's see. I don't think that those are far enough away from town that they'll have something interesting. But what we do have is ants. And we actually have a, a, a vehicle that's turned on right now. Uh, up by this hardware store. Hmm. Who left you running? Okay, you got a fair bit of battery there. Well, we could attach ourselves to you. We spotted another giant ant. At least they're not driving the cars. That's somewhat comforting. We entering in the back here? Yes, we are. Okay. Can I not open this vehicle door? Okay, I guess not. Hmm. 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 It's not a vehicle door, that's why. Oh, and there's a gun up the top. Very nice. So yeah, let's go to the hardware store, because that's a chance for us to get some really good goodies. Are you just a canvas sack, or are you something else? Uh, we get a hold of ourselves. Uh, we're not trying to grab ourselves. <laughs> uh, canvas sack with sand. Okay, now, can I eat you, sand? The internal furnace is on. Can we eat sand? Yes, we can. Let's eat all that sand. Delicious. We just have a whole heap of glass particles in our stomach now. Um, right. Let's see. What do we have here? Okay. A pair of binoculars. Fantastic. Let's not actually eat those. Rather, let's use them. <laughs> now, we don't have to be wearing them. I think as long as we have them in our backpack, they will improve our sight. I will double check that, though, because things never stay the same. It's always good to check. It's going to be onto clothing, and they are a pair of binoculars 
A pair of optics with a neck strap attached, useful for seeing long distances. Wearing this item or carrying it in your inventory will double the distance that you can see around you. Which is great, so we're going to be able to discover a whole new world. And get an entirely different point of view. Oh, the pickaxe! Yeah, you know what? We're going to take that. We're actually going to unfold our, um, our folded Foldertron. And we're going to put that in there. Uh, reason being, the pickaxe is something that we can potentially use to mine down into that temple. Unless, you know, we don't find anything that we actually can use with it. Etc, etc. Um, right, is there anything that we can put in there? Let's go put some of these things away. Just so we can keep on picking things up into our regular inventory. And uh, we don't need the wasp stinger or that, or even the quantum solar backpack for now. It's just another quantum solar panel, so I'm happy to have that in the thing. We're going to ignore further distractions. We shall not be distracted. And um, I think that's us for here. Is that a long string? Oh, can't turn that down. All right, let's pop on outside. Yeah, the larvae. Now, yeah, see, look at this. The folded... Yeah, they're, they're running over something. They're running over the ground. That's that's really... That's really annoying. <laughs> Is something dragging that I can't see? <laughs> I don't know, but wow, we we can see. What we can see is a lot more of everything around here. And an anthill. A freaking anthill. Well, that's just swell. You know what that means. That's a whole heap of food. And some. We also have a pawn shop nearby. Pawn shops can have some good things in them from time to time. As people, you know, sell random stuff. Let's see if we can make our way over towards it. And see if we can find anything interesting. We're going to try and avoid fighting the ants if we can. Because ants get really antsy. When you start to attack their uh, friends. Is that an orchard? It totally is an orchard. Very nice. All right, we've got a whole heap of friends over here. Uh, let's let... Oh, okay. Okay. God, they look so different now. The mimic molds and... Oh, the human bodies. Yeah, that's... um. They they look legit. That's some good bodyage. The, the molds just look all the more, like, bizarre and... Kind of terrifying. I like that. Much more akin to the Shogoths. Stop slashing my fusion rifle. Could you imagine if it just like accidentally fired? Like if they attack it and there's like a random chance for it to fire? That would be terrifying. Uh, okay, so looking at this group that are here, what kind of people are they? Were they scientists or... They look like they might have just been regular people. Um, mangled human corpse. Yep, they look like they were just survivors. Emergency blankets, poor buggers. It looks like it could have been this thing that did it. Uh, looks like that's also a construction site. Ooh, they could have other cool things. Yeah, see, the ladders are eh, frightening. I don't know what to do about them yet. I have not made up my mind. Let's continue on for now. We are looking at the pawn shop. Um, and the electronics store. Okay, this is the one we're looking for. It is locked. We're going to go ahead and use... Oh, wow, that's nearly completely screwed. Okay, we need to fix that ASAP. Yep, we could find some more things in the sporting goods store to help us repair that as well. So, options... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh. <laughs> It's only 15 alarms, that's fine. And we've just got a whole heap of dead coming our way now. I didn't even want to go in here. Uh, there, there could still be interesting things in here, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. This. Oh, and now the alarm doesn't go off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, cool. Alright, what's in here? We've got an acetylene lamp. A wooden fishing spear. This is the thing, I like these shops because you can just find random ass items that you find nowhere else in the game. Ah, oh, great. Oh, we've got a sword. So this is the other thing to look out for, is that quite often these swords are not going to be real swords, they're going to be replicas. Although I think this might be. The bash and the cut on it is actually pretty decent. You can tell by looking at it that way. Um, nothing hidden up here? What are you? 
The display case is firmly sealed. It's a locksmith kit. That's cool. I feel like we'd be really good at, like, lockpicking things with that. Uh, there's a pistol back here. A Ruger. And we got, um, something else over here. Get items. Morphine. Okay. Uh, both are locked. Improvised lockpick. Ooh, okay. Let's go close up that. And it's been a... It's been a... a it's been a, um... Oh! Jeez. I apologize for that. God damn. I was gonna say it's been a episode of safe cracking. And that it has been, but, uh, jeez. That was, um... That was something else. So apparently we've got some friends outside. And a zombie child in here, who's just been breaking things, causing trouble. Okay, and that's just the bathroom. Okay, so I would like to get into this here if we can. It cannot be picked. Well, I guess we're doing that thing then. Locksmith kit. A sturdy steel set of locksmiths lock... No. A sturdy steel lockpicks and torture wrenches etc etc cool okay let's go drop all of our improvised lockpicks and i'm going to change this here to um l for lockpicks yeah that works right sure it does um and i want to change my armor as well i should have changed that a while back change that to a uh the harness is h that's good we do need to repair it though so let's have a look Hmm. We'll activate the wooden needle that we have and just see what we need. Can't see to do that. Okay, we'll go down to the light. It's a little, a little dangerous. We like to live dangerously. Um, right. You. Uh, right. We don't, I, I'm guessing we don't have the things we need. We need leather patches. Okay, leather patches should be easy enough for us to grab. Um, actually, what happens if we butcher you? We might- mostly gonna be Kevlar, I'm assuming, from that, but you never know. Kevlar patches, plastic chunks, okay. Alright, we just need some leather. Hmm. We haven't seen anything else that has leather, right? What about you? Guess items? Dress shoes have leather in them. Cool. Thank you. Now, can't remember whether or not we are allowed to use filthy stuff yet. Three leather patches? Okay, we can try, can't we? Nope. It needs to be fresh. Okay, so let's go get some fresh patches. Try to ignore the massive horde outside. And we'll go clean this broken window. We had a crash. Ignore. Okay, we're attacked by a zombie dog. See if we can continue this. Five minutes. Really, I'm just doing this not to get um, cut, but it's it's not that needed, really. Um, let's see. What do we have? There's actually a proper sewing kit up there. I feel like we should be using that instead of the wooden needle. So let's go grab that and unload our wooden needle. You can live here now. Right, so what do we have? We have a flotation vest. That's kind of useful. A kukuri. Um, uh, just plastic, yeah. I mean, where's all my leather? Pants. Just pants. Uh, are you a leather stool? That's my question. Uh, wetsuit hood. It's gonna be neoprene. Yes, cotton and neoprene. And swinging gloves. Just neoprene? Yep. Cool beans. Okay. Um. Hmm. I wonder if there's a saddle there, we might be able to get something. Deconstruct furniture. Uh, we cannot deconstruct it. Good. I didn't want to anyway. Well, that's somewhat frustrating. I guess we could just go for a seat. I didn't want to go back outside, because we're going to run into trouble. But it looks like we have to. So, come on down. 
to the fun time. Oh, we've got... We've got a whole heap of, um... Blobs. Interesting. Where did you guys come from? Hmm. Very interesting. The orchard's chilling. Uh, that guy's probably going to come for us before we can take this off. So, we'll just do what we can. Examine the vehicle. We are going to grab the seat. We're going to have to take a seatbelt off first, though. Reclining seat. Seatbelt. Remove you real quick. And then remove the reclining seat. Nope. Ignore. The blobs, while hostile, don't seem to pay too much attention to us, so that's okay. Okay. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Seat. Ignore the blob. And then murder it. There's quite a few of them around. Alright. Did we actually get anything from that? Or just long strings? See, it didn't listen to me. Even though I was saying seat, it did the belt first. Which is interesting. So there's definitely some peculiar things going on with the butchering skill. Uh, we're going to duck back inside just so there's a little bit of privacy. And we'll see what we can do. We're going to use the sewing kit to repair this thing here. And we're going to repair... Um, yeah, go all the way up to reinforce, and then we'll see how we can do. Um, can we get it reinforced? We ran out of charges. Well, we'll go ahead and reload it, won't we? And try, try again. There's a chance. Ah, it's fine. It's at least, uh, healed from where it was. So, with that, we've explored... The pawn shop. We've got everything that we can out of it. Sporting goods store, nothing too great there. But there is this great mystery out here. All the way down. Boom. Right there. We have a pickaxe now. That pickaxe, we can dig down. Perhaps through one of those grates. Whether that's the right move, well, we'll find out in the next, won't we? Please do join me there as we delve into the temple below. I've been Rykon, you have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. If you don't know it already, you can pick up the very first piece of Rykon Roleplay's merchandise featuring Leonidas Aventus, the Dragonborn himself. There will be more items added to the store in the coming months, all available at rikonroleplays.com slash store. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to the patrons who continue to make this content possible. 